Today's the launch of OpenAI's O1 model. And today I want to welcome you to one step closer to the singularity, where AI is now one step closer to completely outpacing humanity. Today, OpenAI has launched its O1 model. These models excel at complex reasoning tasks in science, coding, and math. It uses deep thinking to solve tough problems, and it's a game changer from what we've seen so far. Today, I'm going to walk you through exactly how this is different, why this is so important, and where we're going from here. So we now have deep reasoning for hard problems. What this new model can do is step-by-step -step thinking. So this model uses reinforcement learning to break down tasks. It actually thinks like a human being and refines its strategy as it goes. If you know anything about how the previous models worked before, like, like GPT-3 and 4, it used prediction and probability to guess what the next word should be. But this model actually looks at the bigger picture, breaks down these problems, and approaches it in a very, very smart and strategic way. It's also intelligent enough to have continuous improvement, so it learns from its mistakes, and it constantly enhances its problem-solving skills over time. So it's going to keep getting better the more that you use it. And like we mentioned, it's going to be far more strategic. So you can give it these complex problems that the old ones typically won't be able to solve, but now this will break it down into a series of simpler tasks and solve it in a methodical strategic process. So how can we actually prove this? So it's had impressive performance across a variety of different fields, especially with coding. So this O1 model ranked in the 89th percentile on these contests that it gives it. It outperforms most human programmers in competitive coding which means that it might be safe to say that these coders are now becoming obsolete because of this program that can now outperform them. In the field of science and physics, chemistry, and biology, the O1 model has now matched the PhD level performance. So now you have access to a PhD level research tool in your pocket, which is absolutely insane. And of course, in mathematics as well. So the O1 solved 93% of the 2024 AIME math exam problems, which is a significant leap from GPT-40's 12% success rate. So you can see that there's a massive difference in terms of the intelligence and the capability here. And if you're a high school student or if you're in university, this is going to make a massive difference for you. We've also got a mini version, which is smarter and faster for coding. You can use this one for quick and easy tasks like quick coding questions. It's also more cost effective because it's 80% cheaper than the main model. And it's great for people on a budget. It also has focus functionality. So it excels at these smaller tasks without needing extensive world knowledge. And it's also got advanced reasoning as well. So it should not be underestimated because it's also far superior than the previous models. O1 also has advanced safety measures, which is great. So it's got improved protocols and training approaches. It had fantastic protection and rigidness scores on the jailbreaking test, as well as it's also much harder for you to get around its safety and compliance guidelines. No matter how hard you try to break it, I think it's going to put up a tough fight. Now, who has access to it? Well, ChatGPT users, of course, plus and team users can use these O1 models, both the preview and the mini. It has limited messages and it is a bit slower, but it's going to come to everybody very soon. Certain levels of API developers have access to it as well. More features will be coming out soon as well. And of course, as with all the other models, the free users will eventually get access to it too. Now, who are the main beneficiaries from this new model? Well, it applies to the fields that we've mentioned, science, physics, software development, mathematics. So maybe not you as the common person, but if you have complex problems at work or university or a high school or anything that requires problem solving on your day-to-day -day basis, then this is going to be a fantastic tool for you. You're going to get great analysis. You're going to get good outputs. You're going to find great trends and problem solving, and it's going to help you achieve so much more than you could before. And now where do we go from here? So the future of this model. So obviously it's going to get continuous updates, new features and capabilities are on the horizon. You're going to get more functionality, which is going to include browsing, file uploading and image processing in the near future. While O1 is out, we're obviously going to see other models coming out as well. They're working very fast on this. I'm very impressed with the speed that OpenAI is releasing these. And of course, you're going to get ongoing safety enhancements as well. You want to make sure one, that the data is protected, but also that ethical decision making is taking place. So there you have it. Welcome to this new level of the AI revolution. We now have reasoning. We are getting very close to AGI, so God help us all. But leave a comment below about what you think about this new model, how you're using it, if it's made any difference to your experience. And if you want to learn how you can use this in practice, or if you just want to talk about it, then you can click the link in my bio to apply to my automation incubator, where we discuss all things AI, where I teach you how to use these tools to start businesses and make money taking advantage of AI and automation. Hopefully I'll see you inside.